Okay, so which one did you want to go to for first, uh, murderer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do murderer, because, you know, I think there's a prowler in my house right now. That one would be, uh, <laughs> very useful right about now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I need to know, yeah, so like, tell me, please. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the funniest part I didn't even think about, but it's, like, the most, like, common sense thing. Like, oh, uh, murderer's after me. Like, okay, call 911. Um, I could, like, I don't know, go into hiding or something, but... Uh, you, you know, oh, I'm gonna go uh, look up this WikiHow article, which yeah. has pictures to expedite the process. So, WikiHow. WikiHow is going to tell us how to hide from a murderer. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> while it's unlikely that you will ever need to hide from a murderer, <laughs> it's helpful to know what to do, just in case. So, just to clarify, this isn't, like, uh, in an emergency you're hiding from a murderer. You know, this is more or less, like, the preparation steps, you know? It's like, you want to know what to do in case there's a fire... Uh, you want to know what to do if you need to hide from a murderer, so yeah, yeah. I was laying it all out. You know, no rush. Whether you're at home or out in public, knowing how to find a good hiding spot can help save your life. Planning ahead can make your home even safer if a murderer ever does break in. So, so these rules also apply to uh, hide-and-go-seek, so this is really a, a dual-purpose. Mm, that's hard. good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, finding a good hiding place. Uh, all right, uh, part one, hiding effectively. Nice picture here of someone to jump out the window. <laughs> <laughs> they can't kill you if you're already dead. Yeah. <laughs> Part one, hiding effectively. Choose a location that can be barricaded. In order to prevent the murderer from finding you, barricade the main entry to your hiding area as best you can. Ideally, there should be a sturdy lock on the inside of the door, and the door should open out so the murderer can't kick it down. You may also want to barricade the door with additional obstacles, like heavy pieces of furniture. Uh, mm. If your door swings in, it's especially important to barricade with heavy objects as the murderer may be able to kick it in. While it's good to be able to keep the murderer out, it's also important to think about how you will escape if the murderer does manage to get in. A hiding spot with two exits, like a door and a window, is ideal. If you're outside, you may not be able to barricade yourself, but you still look for a secluded location that you will easily be able to escape from if necessary. Hmm. My question so far is, what if the uh, murderer, uh, you know, switches the script and he tries to come through the window and now you barricade <laughs> the door? Oops! <laughs> Well, I guess you're dead. Like, how do you know which exit he's gonna go? You, know, you gotta plan that out too. Stay quiet. Once you find a hiding spot, you need to do whatever you can to make sure the murderer does not locate you. Which means staying as quiet as possible. If you're with other people, avoid talking to each other. You should also <laughs> hey guys, make sure this murderer doesn't kill us. Out. The murderer may still be able to hear your phone if it's on vibrate. Resist the urge. <laughs> What? Uh, what? <laughs> Resist the urge to yell to the the murderer that you have contacted the police. Is hey, that like an urge, people? Hey, buddy! I just want you to know, I called the cops. I got you, man. Like, oh, the guy's oh, sorry, in there. I, kill him now. I just, I just can't help it. It's, it's yeah. what I tend to yell. Um, That's so weird. Like, like I guess they think like, oh yeah, I'm gonna one up the killer and tell him the cops are coming. Yeah, yeah. Know. Resist the urge, you know. Let me just show my full uh, hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep my cards close <laughs> to yeah. the chest. <laughs> Step three, obscure your location. Make it more difficult for the murderer to see the area you are hiding in by turning off all the lights and w closing all the windows and blinds. Make the area look as unoccupied as possible. You should also if you can give him a blindfold to wear, that would <laughs> also be helpful. Yeah, and put a sign that says, no one's here. That would also help <laughs> throw him off. While calling for help should be your priority, be aware, of the light. be aware of the light from your cell phone. If the murderer is right outside the door, he may be able to see it. So, some of these seem like common sense things, like... Unless you're, like, if you're not doing these, it's like you're trying to get caught by the killer. That's what it sounds like. Right. Yeah, and like, yeah, 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 it's kind of, that's true, but it's also, like, there's definitely, like, things that could go wrong in these. Like, yeah, it is important to call, but, you know, if he's bearing down on you about to open the door, don't use your phone, because, uh, then he'll know you're there. <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. Like, All right, step four, avoid huddling together. If you're hiding with other people, spread out as much as you can in your hiding spot. This will increase each individual's chance of survival if the murderer gets in, uh, into your hiding spot. <laughs> well, if someone's going to die at least. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, yeah, if someone's going to die, I might as well, you know, uh, uh, minimize the losses here. Every man for Thanks. himself, basically. Yeah, make sure everyone stays away from windows, as these are often the most vulnerable part of the room. Unless the murderer is coming at you from the door, in which you should be using the window to escape. Right? Tell your friends to split up, and then tell the killer where the other friends are to kill them. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to go faster than the killer, just faster than your friends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's really the uh, the ultimate advice here. Step five, hide in, behind, or under something. Uh, also, quick note, it looks like the guy in the bottom right is hiding from a, a droid, and he's also already outside, so I don't know what the problem is there. Seems like you should make um, a sprint for it. Uh, if you want a great <laughs> hiding spot within your barricaded room, find a piece of furniture or a similar item that you can use to hide in. The less obvious the hiding spot, the better. 
You may want to hide behind the floor length curtains, behind a desk, or behind the clothes in a closet. I wouldn't hide behind curtains, because that's very, you're very exposed, I feel. So well, that's just like a, clothes, just a sheet of cloth. clothes in a closet. Uh, generally speaking, they're, they're hanging up, right? So uh, I don't really know what you do about your, your pants, right? Yeah. Or anything, <laughs> anything below the like the shirt level hmm, uh, yeah. in the closet. That it's could be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you could but. try hiding under the bed, under a pile of laundry, or under a blanket. You could also consider hiding inside a cupboard in the washing machine or inside a large box. <laughs> yeah, that would be sus- that would be uh, the very washing machine. suspicious. Yeah, isn't that like yeah. you're not supposed to hide in the washing machine? <laughs> yeah, it's also mm-hmm. easy access to kill you. You know, you just hit a couple buttons. Yeah, there you uh, go. You can't really, can't really get out at that uh, point. If, so, if you are um, outside, you may want to hide behind a bush, under a car, or in a trash can, or under a porch. Better yet, get in the car and drive away. There you go. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, yeah, it's like hide in a car, but don't uh, don't yeah. use it. Don't utilize um, it for its functions. I think the washing machine is a really bad idea. I mean, like, basically, you'll just save the killer some time, uh, since... Yeah, because once you get found out, like, you, don't have, you don't have an escape route. There. Oh, yeah, that, well, that, and also you'll probably be dead by then. I do like the the advice, so, uh, the less obvious the hiding spot, the better. Like, oh, that's, that's I feel like, honestly, I feel like laundry might be good, because I, I know, I wouldn't think anyone would hide under laundry, unless it's, like, a really big pile, then you're gonna check, you know? It's well, just... it has to be a really big pile, right? I mean, what are you hiding under, like, a couple pairs of, like, a couple shirts? A couple parachutes? I mean... Oh, I'm just doing my, cleaning my parachutes. Oh, there's a killer in my house. Good thing I got these parachutes here, I'll just hide under these. <laughs> Like, I, I agree I wouldn't check under the laundry, but that's usually because you couldn't fit a person under the laundry. Yeah, right? like, if it so. looks like a big enough pile where, like, oh, yeah, someone could hide in there, I would check. Hide in plain sight if necessary. If you're not mm. able to run away to find a place to hide, playing dead may be an option. This will work if the murderer has already killed a lot of victims. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, like, oh, you just pretend you're already dead when he comes in? Like, oh, I guess uh, the other murderer got here first. <laughs> <laughs> Is this my route? I, I'm yeah, sure. That's kind of a funnier concept. <laughs> Really confused the killer union going on in your neighborhood. <laughs> he like stands there calling phone. Yeah, yeah, Jeff, are you here? Did you already come to this house? Simply lie down among the victims and hope that the murderer doesn't realize that he hasn't killed you. Crawl down next uh, to get... your dead friends and lie next to them. Pretend to be dead. Number seven. Um, call for help. Call for help. Okay. As soon as it is safe to do so, call 911 for help. If you have a cell phone with you, you might be able to do this while you are hiding. As long as you don't think that making a call will give away your location to the murderer, stay on the line with the operator until the police get there. When the police get there, follow their instructions and keep your hands visible at all times so they know that you are not a threat. If calling the police is too loud, text someone who is not at the location about your situation and ask them to call the police for you. In some areas, it's also possible to text 911. I like how this is step seven instead of step one. Yeah, you like, like the first. I would think the first thing to do is like call before they actually get into the house. So, close to you. so after you've lied down and played dead is when you call the police. <laughs> Just after that, like it's crawl to the washing machine and start the call. <laughs> yeah, 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 priorities. Okay. Officers, help me! I'm in my washing machine. Is there a murder? No, he's gone. But I'm stuck now. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Part two of three, using other survival techniques. Yeah, run if you can. If it's possible to get out of the building or the immediate area that the murderer is in, this is always preferable to hiding. Really? Yeah, yeah really? Thanks, Wookie. Assess out. your location and decide if you would be able, be able to escape safely. If others don't want to run with you, leave them behind. <laughs> you can't let Jeez. them prevent you from escaping. Oh, that's dark. Man, that's a little... Wow, okay. It's like, screw you guys. <laughs> I'm not dying here today. Be sure to keep your hands visible as you flee the scene. If the police are there already, they may mistake you for the murderer. Yeah, don't they just run. like run in like some goofy manner with don't your, your pockets in your hands. Run in an erratic pattern. This will make it harder for the murderer to shoot you if he comes after you. <laughs> or it'll just make him easier to catch you if you're just like running. Yeah, it'll just run straight for you. Okay. <laughs> Try to put as many obstacles between you and the murderer as possible. How's that work? Like, you run by, like, you, like, push a, like, push a shopping cart in your way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Throw people in your way. It's like, oh, you can't, can't run around this, can you? Huh? As you're, like, slowing down to move things. Yeah. Let's see. Head for safety. Huh. That's sound advice. Hmm. If you choose to run, it's important to head for a location that will be safer than the location that you just left. Uh, while you may just want to get out of there, don't leave without some kind of an idea of where you will go. A secure location like a police station is the best option, but a neighbor's house is better than nothing. You know, another house that the murderer can break into. Uh, try yeah, to avoid- bring, bring the murderer into them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> try to avoid <laughs> running into your neighbor's house. Oh, okay. <laughs> if, you're, if the murderer's watching you. Mm. 
You don't want to put them in danger as well by leading a murderer into their house. If there's yeah, much... that's just not considerate. Yeah. Plus, the killer, he's already in your house, in one house. It's probably tough to get a break, break into one house, so... Yeah. yeah. If there's nothing around the area, head for the woods instead of a clearing. <laughs> this will give you give you many more places to hide. A full parking lot will also provide lots of good hiding opportunities. I feel like you wouldn't get murdered in a full parking lot as well, right? Like, yeah. Generally, uh, the murderer's probably not going to follow you there, but you can, you can hide behind all the cars. Yeah. Okay. Uh, plan to fight oh, if geez. you must. <laughs> yeah. Plan. In some cases, you may have no choice but to fight back against the murderer. This is generally not a good idea, <laughs> unless your life is in immediate danger. But if it comes to it, do what you need to survive. If you decide to fight, what do you do? Like, roll a dice? Like, oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing six damage now. <laughs> yeah. If you decide to fight, you need to commit to it. Half-hearted attempt at fighting back will only put you in more danger. <laughs> your goal should be to disarm or incapacitate the murderer, then run away as fast as possible. And preferably still throw obstacles in the way. Just in case, yeah. Yeah. If you have a gun, you may want to use this to defend yourself. <laughs> you may not. Well, but... I mean, there could be another killer outside waiting, so you might want to hold off yeah. on those bullets. Yeah, yeah. Save your bullets, though. <laughs> For the bigger uh, killer. Pretty outside. expensive these days, you know. <laughs> Obama's trying to make it harder to get to get bullets. Uh, you know, so yeah. <laughs> you might, might want to hang on to those. Um, if not, you may also be able to inca inca incapacitate the murderer using pepper spray. If you have no other... But yeah, but you might not want to use the pepper spray. Because <laughs> it does really hurt, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, plus that stuff's expensive. Yeah. If you have no other option but to attack the murderer with your bare hands, aim for the most vulnerable parts of the body, the throat, the eyes, the groin, and the stomach. Okay, good. Um, and the next uh, the next picture is just him like beating a guy with a stick. <laughs> so that was not listed in any of the... Um... If all it tells, pull out your oh, beating okay, stick. Yeah. You got some big muscles on that dude, too. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Pull, pull out your switch. But yeah, no, I don't know what... Uh, oh, I think the that guy just looks kind of annoyed about this whole thing. <laughs> that killer yeah. walked into the wrong house. It's like, oh, jeez, this dude's bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, He's got yeah. huge muscles. <laughs> and this guy's just beating me with a stick. Use an improvised weapon. If you choose to fight back and you do not have a traditional weapon, look around for ordinary objects that you might be able to use to disarm the murderer or incapacitate him. A good weapon should be easy to use and should be reasonably likely to... Inf Reasonably likely to inflict harm. You can use a backpack as a shield or to swing at the murderer. Eh, well, that's quite a weapon, yeah. That's yeah. Uh, that's definitely likely to inflict harm, you know, <laughs> swinging a backpack. Uh. Well, it's got some metal zippers <laughs> on it, you know. That'll really put a death in his face, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Any heavy item can be used to knock the murderer unconscious. A chemical fire extinguisher can effectively disable a person if you spray it in his face. I feel like this scenario that. generally doesn't just happen, right? Like, I don't think this is usually oh, well, yeah. how murder is going. Not really. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, I was, I don't know. I mean, enough. it, it happens enough for Rookie Howe to say, hey, we need an article on this. We need to put our foot down, yeah. People are dying too much. We gotta step in and show them how it's done. Cooperate if you are captured. If the murderer finds you and it's not possible to escape or fight back, parentheses, if he has a gun and you only have a baseball bat, for example, it is important. Well, boy, I thought that was a thing you were supposed to use to disarm him. So you, like, throw the, like hit the <laughs> gun with the baseball bat. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> what now, yeah. Rookie Howe? <laughs> so you probably failed the last step, so here's what you do. <laughs> Treat your gunshot wound, and then uh, proceed as it follows. Yeah. <laughs> it's important to know how to interact with him in order to increase your chances of survival. If the person's primal objective is to steal things or commit another crime, he may not really want to kill you if it's, if it's not necessary. I mean, it he says has... murder on his business card, but that was, a mis that was a typo, you know? Yeah, yeah, it definitely seems like uh, murder is what he's after, so uh, I don't, I don't <laughs> know why we're really. with all this. Be as cooperative as you can possibly be. Do what the murderer asks you to do without asking questions. Uh, okay, avoid making eye contact, as this can be seen as threatening. Don't make any sudden movements that the murderer might interpret as you trying to fight. Always be on the lookout for opportunities to run or incapacitate the murderer. <clears throat> Good. Hmm. Right. I was going to say, like, are uh, they going to, like, there. are they going to mention things yeah. about, like, uh, oh, flirt with him a little bit. Get him off his guard, <laughs> you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the next one, planning ahead. Oh, this is the next part, okay. Uh, one, make, make your house secure. While there's not much you can do as an individual to make public places safer, you can work to make your house more impenetrable to intruders. Make sure the doors in your door jams are made of sturdy steel. If you have glass inserts in or around any of your doors, make sure they cannot be broken. Keep windows closed and locked at night and when you are not in the room. Make sure your home is well lit at night to deter intruders. I feel like, yeah, um... Yeah, I'm afraid of light. I thought yeah, you were supposed to keep yeah. the room dark. I feel like this would have really. This is really for like if you're getting broken in like every week. Um, <laughs> well, it's like I guess this is what you would do if you couldn't leave. But this is like a lot of preparation or something that might happen. Like well, that probably wouldn't happen really unless I don't know unless you live in an area where that does happen frequently. But it's like 
Uh, yeah, and, it, and generally if this happens, they're probably like coming in to like steal stuff. I feel like they're just coming in to just to like shoot you up. Install an alarm system. Yeah, it's pretty basic, like how to not yeah. get your house broken into if it happens everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> alarm system to provide excellent security. I'm just laughing about like someone breaking into your house every week to try to kill you, and then at some point you're like, hey, maybe I'll uh, get a safe I wonder lock. if there's a way to uh, prevent this in the future, because this is just a real hassle on my day, you know? That's even like, a more ridiculous scenario. Like, oh, it's 3 o'clock, time to, time to barricade my room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like you get in position by the light switch, you get your baseball bat, and like your weapons. It's like, oh, well, just uh, the daily grind, you know? Um. It's Monday. <laughs> Alarm systems can provide excellent security and peace of mind for people at home. They can automatically help, call for help, sorry, if someone breaks into your house and they often scare intruders off. Uh, which is why it's a better idea to install a fake alarm system. Um, yeah, like a sign. Yeah. Some alarm systems have a, a panic modes that you can use to make the intruder think you have turned the system off, but secretly contact, contact the police. You may want to invest in security cameras as well, whether you have an alarm system or not. Put up the stickers that say you do, that often deters criminals just as much as the actual alarm. There you go. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're simple-minded, so no fall for that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, these people, uh, you know, they don't have college degrees. How do you think they became murderers? Three, prepare a safe room in your home. Hey, there you go. Isn't that something you uh, suggested? Oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, everyone has a panic room. Behind your giant, you yeah, know, just... foot-wide, foot-thick steel door here. Yeah, get all your heavy objects to barricade. <laughs> uh, it's a good idea to have a designated safe room in your house and to make sure that your entire family knows that this is where you hide in case of emergency. You can have a special steel security door installed for extra protection. Make sure the, door, the room is somewhere that will be accessible to your family and far from the areas where an intruder is most likely to enter your home. A closet or bathroom near the bedrooms is a good choice. So this seems uh, very overdramatic for uh, one guy. You know, I mean, right. it gets a murderer, but again... It's a lot of preparation. <clears throat> yeah. Unless you know what's going to happen. You know, if you have a, a warning in advance, maybe. Yeah. Again, like, it's like the Home Alone scenario. It's like, if you actually know, like, okay, this day these guys are going to break in, like, okay, go for it, but, uh... Yeah, like, if you look out the window, yeah. it's like, Honey, the murder van's coming down the street. Got, hurry. <laughs> to the safe room. Get in the safe room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we got, keep important supplies in your safe room. So, this might even be a bathroom, but you're gonna keep all this stuff. In addition to designating a specific room as your house as your safe room, making sure that the area is secure. It's a good idea to charge your phone in this room every night so that you'll always be able to call for help if you have to hide in there. That's, that's a tall order. Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I have to go to the bathroom so I can charge my phone. Uh, every night. Yeah, like, uh, hey, just in case, you know, and there hasn't been a killer in my yeah. house yet, but today may be the day. If you don't have guns at your home, keep some infrared weapons in this location. Again, they're very, like, uh, like, they're, they're trying not to suggest that you actually use a gun. It's, uh, like, if you have a, if you have a weapon, you know, maybe use it, but... Yeah, you, know. you don't have to, you know, some people have survived, but, you know. Here's some Q&A, yeah. which I think might actually be pretty funny, because yeah, I'm sure... Yeah, from the community of Wiki Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What should I do if I accidentally kill the murderer while fighting? <laughs> accidentally. Sure thing, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Call emergency services immediately. When the officers arrive, tell them everything. Be honest and open. You have nothing to fear if you kill someone in self-defense. Unless you have no evidence that you killed them in self-defense. <laughs> then you have something to fear. Just, his head just exploded like that. I swear. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it doesn't look like he has a weapon, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. How do you survive an axe murderer? Okay, I'm sure uh, that's a lot different. No, you don't. Um, nice question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're already dead, pretty much. <laughs> what if you killed the murderer in order to survive? Sounds like. A Why are all question. the questions about this? Like, they're all very yeah. like like people come to this just for that answer. Really, they just want to know like, okay, can I kill someone if they break into my house? Like, what if I murdered the killer and I kind of liked it? What do I do then? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of liked it. What if I don't feel bad about it? <laughs> what if I ate his corpse? What if I have a taste for human flesh now? <laughs> Hell you were yeah. What if I do it all again? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what if he wasn't a murderer and I just killed? I'm the murderer. <laughs> <laughs> so what if I killed the murderer? And I kind of <laughs> <laughs> that I'm the murderer. I've become the thing I hate. <laughs> what should someone do if they manage to knock a murderer out? <laughs> Kill them while you have a yeah, chance. Yeah, finish the job, <laughs> please. <laughs> they'll be able to come and arrest the murderer until then make sure the murderer cannot escape but you aren't too close to them if they wake up okay um what if the killer saw me in the house and there's no way out 
fight for your life, punch them, and do as much damage as possible. Then try to get away. I like that. You fight for your life. You're in it now, buddy. Yeah. And then try to get away after that. Like, not try to get away if you can't fight. Uh, no, it's uh, fight for your life. You know, it's too late now. Um, fight for the death. What if you're on the top floor? If the assailant is downstairs, distract him, uh, her there, or lock yourself in somewhere. Hide. If it's a first floor, consider escaping through a window. Well, it's well, not a first floor. No, because it says, what if you're on the top floor? Yeah, and the advice so. is, if, you're, if it's the first floor... Don't just try and fill yeah, up the answer with nonsense, Wiki How? Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, clearly the person saying that like, you can't escape through a window if you're on the second floor, or, you know, it'd be a little harder. Yeah. Uh, so what do I do? And they say, well, if it's the first floor, consider escaping through a window. It's like, I'm not, like, on, the, I'm not on the top floor, but I'm just <laughs> curious, you know, what if I was on the top floor? What would I do then? I have a one-story house. It's like, it's like and yeah, then Wiki How just replies with, well, if you're on the bottom floor... <laughs> It's like, dear Ricky Howe, there's a murder in my house right now. I'm going to die. What do I do if I'm a kid with no weapons? You have to use your body for self-defense. Yeah, I'm sure you have to Sacrifice your yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure this kid with no weapons, uh, you know, will uh, stand you can a take, chance. You can take a couple stabs uh, to the arms and legs. You don't worry. Yeah, use your hands, legs, knees, and teeth to defend yourself against the murderer. Yeah, you have to go all in. Mm. Um, the younger, the better. What should I do if <laughs> there are no places to hide in my house? Get out, look for a window, or... Yeah, hide in the window. Um, <laughs> give us some more saving glasses. Hide in the blinds. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hide in the oven. Why not? <laughs> Which, uh, <laughs> Turn it on. The killer would never think anyone would hide in a live oven. <laughs> <laughs> so what if the murderer has weapons that are stronger than mine? I like to sneak around behind him and bite his hand <laughs> and he drops the weapon. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, what if you can't sneak behind him? Like, this is a very, like, uh black and white answer here it's like oh yeah we'll just sneak behind him you know bite like okay um all right if i'm hiding in a room and the burglar is right outside my door could he hear me calling the police why is that even a question <laughs> isn't that like not uh like like so if i'm in a room and the burglar is outside the room <laughs> could he hear me if i'm talking like you know into a phone it's like it's probably yeah. why does wiki how need to explain yeah. that this is even stranger. What if the attacker is or identifies as a child? <laughs> it's like it's like a, like a forty year old man walks in. I'm a child. You can't kill me. It's like oh, yeah. you got me. <laughs> it's like well, I, my hands are tied now. I can't do anything. He said he's four years old. So I wish I could do if the murderer injures me. Oh, you know, just go on with your day. If you can sew it up yourself, you know, walk it fine. off. Yeah, walk it off. I mean, come on. And so uh, as these other ones have been more or less like. Uh, can I kill them if they walk in? Like, what if they are technically yeah. a minor? Um, like, all this stuff. This person just says, are we allowed to randomly throw steak knives at them? Ran uh, randomly throw steak knives at them? Like, <laughs> what does that even mean? First of all, <laughs> yeah. are we allowed? Do you mean, like, legally are you going to get in trouble for just willingly throwing steak knives I think, at someone? I think at this point you're just tormenting the pork killer, okay? Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I almost feel like this is a kind of like a joke comment too, right? But, um, I don't know. What happens when the murderer holds a family member hostage? This is a two-year-old and asks for you to meet his demands. <laughs> what should I do? Again, like, this is all stuff that's probably happening right now. And, like, they're just, like, calmly no, replying. Uh, it's like, this has already happened once and I just lost a two-year-old brother. I don't want it to happen again. <laughs> Let me go to WikiHow and see what they say for next time. Yeah, it's like, what can I do about this next time? Because we're really, we're really, uh, you know, running out of fa uh, family members here. First time, you know, really I, I tried to... On the list. Um, I tried to bite his hand and he just, he saw me. So he just killed my brother. So, I want to know for next yeah. time. That's uh, right, that was well. pretty funny, you know. Uh, I feel, yeah, I think I've definitely picked up. Definitely not as obviously quirky as some of these other WikiHow articles, like where they're just like, just weird uh, premises. Yeah, like the whole but, premise is weird. Yeah, so. I mean, this is kind of a weird premise, though, because you have you know like like we kind of said in the beginning, like is this, like a preparatory thing, or is this just like you really uh you know, really scared you're actually gonna be killed? So like this is uh, you know, or you're, you know someone's outside your house right now, so you type in a quick Google search.